is Miss, hey, this is Miss R reporting from the Ecuadorian jungle. And it's a tropical downpour right now. And I just wanted to use this moment to explain that the rainforest actually makes the rain. Transpiration, which is plants basically losing some water when they open up their stoma to bring in carbon dioxide, they lose some water. And that water goes up into the atmosphere, condenses, and makes the rain. So the rainforest actually makes its own rain. The plants lose water. They draw water from the soil up to their leaves. They lose a little bit every time they open their stoma to bring in carbon dioxide to do photosynthesis. And that water goes up into the atmosphere. It cools, condenses, makes droplets, and falls again as rain. You can see it's pretty cool here. Um, we're right next to a drowned forest. Uh, this is the rainy season, and it rains so much here that the river kind of overflows its banks and makes a big lake. And we're staying right next to the lake. You can see the water out there. And this lake is full of really cool stuff. Fishes um, that eat the fruit that fall from the trees, and those fishes feed other fishes. They also feed caimans, which are alligator-like looking things. They're pretty scary looking. We only swim in the middle of the lake, not near the edges, because that's where the caimans, the alligator things, lurk. There are also a lot of piranhas. You might have heard piranhas being pretty fierce and eating other animals. There's actually only two species here that eat animals, and that's only in the dry season when they're really hungry. But most of the species of piranhas in this lake eat fruit. And the cool thing is they eat the fruit and they need, some plants need to be eaten by piranhas so that the seeds can grow. The seeds won't grow unless they go through the digestive system of piranhas. Pretty cool, huh? There are lots of great interrelationships here in the rainforest and I'll talk more about them later. Thanks.